Justin Trudeau blames you mega Americans, you Trump followers for negatively influencing Canadians, for dividing us Canadians. Trump is still powerful. He's shaping Canadian politics years after he's left office. This video, he calls us all deplorable. Either it's in this video that I'm about to show you or it's in the longer version that you can watch on Global News. I can't remember, but let's watch. The rise of a right-wing American MAGA-influenced thinking that has made Canadian conservatives, who used to be among the strongest defenders of Ukraine, I'll admit it, turn their backs on something Ukraine needs in its hour of need. That is the danger of the rise of the right-wing influence that is feeling its impact in Canada. That's what not just Ukrainian Canadians, but all Canadians should be concerned about. Ukraine continues to need support for their defense. That's why today I'm announcing that Canada is donating over 11 thousand assault rifles and over nine million rounds of ammunition this is from november 24th you can watch the whole clip on global where justin trudeau blames everybody but himself once again for what's going on in canada i thought a leader was meant to unite a country not divide its citizens a weak leader blames everybody but himself when things go wrong Canadians are angry because we keep giving money away to strangers, to the Ukraine, when we can't make our own ends meet. We must take care of our own before we can take care of others. He constantly turns his back on Canadians and he needs to be removed. Follow, like the video, leave a comment, let's get this boosted because more people need to see that we have a tyrant leading the country and more people need to understand the urgency in getting him replaced. I know it's been a minute since I've made a video talking about Canadian or American politics. I had to take a step back because politics is a part of me, but it's not all of me. And I wanted to figure out a way where I could share more of myself with you all. And I have figured that out. I have built a community called The Collective. However, you can't join The Collective yet, but you can join the waitlist. In The Collective, I want to help everybody become a whole person. People who are motivated to understand our culture because that is the fullness of what I am. So being pigeonholed into political content just didn't feel authentic and natural. And if I'm going to make content for you all, I want it to be as real as possible. I want to help all of you by sharing the books that I read, engage in discourse that can help you grow in all areas of your life, whether that's money management, whether that's philosophy and culture, whether that's politics or your health, because that's who I am. I'm multifaceted and I know that's who you are. And so I've created a community for people who are forever students, who want to grow and develop in all areas of life. And so I welcome you to join the existing people on the waitlist for the collective, people who are interested in growth, people who want to join a community of others who are determined to live a life that they can look back on and know that they lived in full because they lived in a state of abundance. So we're all forever students in this collective where I challenge you daily to become a better version of yourself than you were yesterday. Always in the pursuit for truth. The link is the top link in my bio. For my feminine ladies and my masculine men, I'll see you there.